Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a video for you guys talking about being a bio major. So the main reason that I really wanted to do this video was because on YouTube I haven't really seen the topic come up. Maybe I think I've seen a couple YouTubers do it, but obviously there's not a lot about it. Now I know when I was deciding what major I wanted to pick, especially being pre-med, I would have greatly appreciated having a little bit of knowledge about the different majors. So I thought that it would be a fun idea to share my major and what made me choose it and I guess a little bit about the major itself. So I think I should start by talking about how does one become a bio major? Well, obviously like any major, you pick what major you're sort of interested in. So this is mainly like an area of study that maybe interest you. So I know a lot of people, they love psych, so they'll go and like, they'll choose to be a psych major or there are a lot of people who love to write, so they'll go for an English major and, you know, pursue that. Well, for me, I obviously always love science, so being a bio major was kind of a no-brainer for me. Now, obviously, there are a bunch of different science majors, so, and a lot of the different science majors are pretty I would say pretty congruent with what you're going to need to do for med school anyways. So it's not like you specifically have to be a bio major in order to be pre-med. But bio majors and pre-meds do have to, a lot of similarities um, as far as classes that you have to take. But I know that the bio requirements for my university had a lot of the pre-med requirements built in. So I think that's why for me it worked out pretty well. But as far as choosing to be a bio major, you look for the different schools that offer the major and then you just apply there. So for me, I found the different universities that offered my major uh, pretty much in my area and kind of in the area that I wanted to stay in. And then I just applied there. Um, obviously, I picked the one that I really loved and I went there. So. Being a bio major really is just that I chose biology as my course of study. Now, the interesting and kind of cool thing about biology is that it is such a huge subject and it has a lot of little subsubjects. So when I chose to be a bio major, I knew that I was going to have a wide variety of things to choose from. It wasn't necessarily only like a pre-med tract or only a research-based tract. There's a lot of things that go into bio. So I know for my specific university, there were kind of, I want to say three, but I know it's maybe more than three different tracks that you could choose. For our university, a really big tract was ecology. Two, definitely the pre-med tract. So a lot of kids were gearing their studies towards being pre-med, you know, taking classes that would maybe help you with med school. So for example, I took anatomy. And then, what was it? Then research, I think, was a really big one. I know that there are a bunch of other little tiny ones, like not tiny ones, but kind of smaller branches that were popular as well. So like microbio, so that's like dealing with a lot of like um, obviously microorganisms and such. And neuroscience, which is really cool. And neuroscience is cool because it also kind of goes into like the psych portion of things. So for me, when I decided kind of what I wanted to do with bio, that kind of geared what kind of classes I took. But just being a bio major's whole, you had required courses that you had to take. So we had to take obviously biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, those four basic sciences you had to take. But you also had to take kind of like the smaller sciences um, within the realm of bio. So. I did take genetics, ecology, and then uh, uh, cell bio. So those are also really interesting, but that had a lot to do with what I had to take. And then as far as like completing those courses, you also have to take, I had to take two years of calculus. So you have to take those two classes, but then you also have to take electives. So where you go in your electives is really kind of where you branch off into what you want to do as far as like using your bio major. For me, like I said, I was pre-med, so I knew that I wanted to take courses that were going to help me either with my MCAT or anything that kind of piqued my interest that would go along with, you know, being pre-med. So the classes that I personally took that they offered at my university were um, brain and behavior. I took anatomy, so I took about two semesters of anatomy. 
I took uh, a class called animal behavior. So that one was just more so like an interesting course about bio and you know animals. And then I took, what else did I take? Biochemistry. So biochemistry necessarily isn't just biology. It's kind of the fusion of bio, orgo, and chemistry together. It's really cool though. I think when I took biochemistry, I finally could see why they made me take the other sciences in the first place because it kind of just fuses everything together and it's really cool. Now being a bio major itself, I'm not going to lie, is a lot of work. A lot of the bio textbooks are really, really huge. Um, not just the bio textbooks, but the science textbooks are pretty thick. And since you are going through maybe an entire chapter, maybe two chapters, depending on the professor, you do have to do a lot of reading. So I remember that for me, that was the bulk of my homework, having to read several chapters in order to understand what was going to go on in lecture later on in the week. Um, the other thing about being a bio major, it's more fact-based instead of just, you know, writing papers or analyzing uh, different topics. You have to do a lot of memorization and a lot of understanding of concepts. So a lot of your time studying is going to be spent either memorizing certain terms, um, I guess making maps to kind of piece together different concepts, and a lot of um, a lot of reading. <laughs> it definitely is a lot of reading. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, what else? So it is very time consuming. That's something to keep in mind. If you're someone who doesn't necessarily want to have all these several hours that you need to study, maybe it's not something that you would want to pursue. But as someone who's done it, I would say it's not impossible and you definitely fall into a rhythm of what works for you. That and I think that whenever you're passionate about a subject and you are interested in learning about it, it doesn't feel as bad. Especially for me, like, for me, my sort of, not passion subject, but the subject that I loved learning about was anatomy. Because I think for me, it was really cool to learn about the human body and how everything pieced together. So doing hours of like anatomy work really wasn't that bad for me because it was cool. And I was, I've always felt like I was learning something very, very useful. So yeah, um, I would say beyond that, it's not horrible. Um, if you really want to pursue being a bio major, I think that you definitely should go for it. But something to keep in mind with biology, like I said earlier, is that you can do a lot with it. And you don't think that you need to already know, like as you start school, what you want to do with your bio major. You can figure it out as you go. Take a couple classes, see what really interests you, what you're passionate about, and then you can go from there. Um, for me, for example, I knew from the get-go that research wasn't necessarily something that I was absolutely crazy about. So yeah, I didn't really go that path and you know, it's whatever you decide that you want to do. So hopefully all of this information was helpful for you. Sometimes I feel like I'm just skimming the surface. If you guys have any more questions about being a bio major or choosing to pursue science, definitely leave a comment below. I'd love to answer whatever questions you guys have. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. Obviously, I love to hear what you guys want to know. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a really great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.